Hi there, welcome back to the studio. I'm just doing a little test run because I'm having some trouble with the autofocus on my camera, so we'll see how it works. Uh, I'm going to start with a little uh, demonstration of some reflections for you. It's a, a little photo of a local river. It's quite a deep, slow flowing river, so that's what we're going to do reflections in a deep, slow flowing river. And if you're with me on Skill Builders, there'll be some Skill Builders all focusing on reflections this month. Okay. Let's get into this now. First I'm just going to lay in a simple sky here. Uh, I'm not going to pay too much attention to everything else in this um, painting. It's going to be focusing on the reflections. So just laying in a simple sky. With a bit of gradation in it. I'm going to give that a quick flick with my finger. And there I have just a simple sky. Hills are going just chosen. Four different pastels there. And those hills. A little green now. Just putting in some purples and blues there. Yeah, I'm giving that a little blend with my finger. back into it and put in some other marks now that I've blended it off a little bit. Putting those in quite dark. Them in the distance. So I'm starting to build up some layers there, getting ready for the reflections to come in. dark edges on the shore. Another layer there. These are just downward strokes. And then we are down by the river's edge. Now I'm going to start working in the reflections and I'm going to just use the pastel I've got and drop it down in a mirror image almost. Not quite, but just approximating where those trees are going. Now things are not exactly the same colour below water as they are above, but I am starting out with the same colours to get some harmony and then I'll Darken the lights and lighten the darks. I'm now bringing a some sort of a lighter green and adding some of that colour into the greens below. And with 
the light, I'm just taking one slightly darker and adding that in. You need a little crisp edge along here. So what I'm doing is taking something much darker and making that little shadowed area there. And that gives you some definition between the shore and the shadows. Bring that down into the reflections as well. Remember, when you're doing reflections, if something's angling one way, it angles the other way in the reflections. And uh, maybe I'll put something in to show you that. So let's put in a tree trunk, a big old dead tree trunk there, and give it a bit of an angle that way. So when I come down, I angle it the opposite direction. Back here there's another line of trees, so let's get those in. Dropping it down as we go. And so when I'm doing the shadows, I'm just pulling the colour down there. On this hill here, we're not going to be able to see this part in the reflections. It's too, too far away and it's... not reflected down so that the thing is you need to look carefully at your scene and look at what you can see and what you can't. These will be sharper because they're closer to you there and back here it's going to be nice and fuzzy and these are just some of the colours from the hill coming across there. I'm just going to use my finger to give it a little smooth out there, pulling it down, always pulling it down. What's going to give me that semblance of it being actual reflections is to have some horizontal lines across that. So firstly I'm going to put in the, a little bit of sky back there. Where the water is ruffled and so we're not getting any reflections back there but right back at the far we get a little bit in between the ruffles so there's a little bit of still water there and then just the sky reflections coming in and as we come down here the water is stiller and we're getting sky reflections and as they come further towards you the closer they get the darker the water becomes because it's damp water until when you get it. and you can see it's much darker than the sky the sky will reflect the sky will reflect much darker 
I'm going to give that a smooth because it's not smooth the water. Soft reflection there. And I'm just giving it a little flick with my finger to make it a little bit softer all over because I'm using the honeycomb paper. Now to again create the illusion of it being uh, something underneath the surface there. I've made it a little bit softer, a little bit more softness than uh, the actual um, land above it. And then I'm going to take in my sky colour here, I'm just going to drag some of it into the reflections and create those little ruffle lines across it which suddenly make it seem like there's um, a surface to the water. So it's those little marks that create that, create that illusion for you. This just needs quietening down a bit. It's a little bit too dark because the reflection should be not quite so dark. There's So here we have the main elements of these reflections. Firstly back here there's some ruffled water where you can just see the sky reflecting off the surface. A little bit of calm water and you can see a little bit of that reflection there. As we come further forward we've dropped these colours straight down into the water. Then I went over the dark with a little bit lighter and the lights with a little bit darker. Where we put that tree in we reflected it back at the same in the opposite angle and then I gave it a little smooth down because the reflections are slightly smoother and then to create the illusion of a surface we dragged some of the sky colour over those uh, reflections as a little ripple and as we came further forward we made the sky colour darker and the sky colour is darker in the reflection than it is in the sky. I hope you enjoyed that quick demonstration of some different things you can do to create the illusion of reflections and I'll have a more detailed lesson coming up later in the month but this is just to get us started and to check out my autofocus on the camera and see if it's working fine. Thanks for joining me. Uh, don't forget to look out for your school builders this month which, is go which are going to show you uh, a whole lot of different things about um, reflections and reinforce the things that I'll be teaching you in the lessons. Watch out for the acrylic painting demo coming up this month too. That's going to be focusing on reflections and even if you're a pastel artist you should be able to get some uh, useful information from that as well. Okay, see you later. <laughs>